You uh, may know my name is Terry Mollica. I'm a business owner and a resident of Benicia and a member of the Planning Commission where I've worked with Kerry for a number of years now. And I'm so pumped to be here today to be announcing her candidacy for City Council. When we finally were able to ask questions when the EIR was ready to be certified, um, we had a lot of questions. And those questions, uh, both from myself and from Kerry, I think we're, we're instrumental in getting the Planning Commission to vote 7-0 against this proposal. Uh, Valero has already publicly uh, said that they have in fact donated another $200,000 into their PAC uh, with the intent of spending it on this uh, election. And um, I have been very public in saying that this is bad for Benicia, bad for democracy. It's not the kind of thing that uh, we should uh, allow to happen, but it is legal. She is probably one of the most qualified city council candidates that I have come across ever. And, and that includes me. Uh, <laughs> Carrie has uh, certainly put in her time. She has the smarts and the experience uh, to do the job and her being on the council, it would be a uh, big step forward for our community. I, there are priorities, I love Carrie. This is why it's important for me on the Board of Supervisors to have Carrie. Carrie, first off, not only does has she lived in the community a long time, but her kids went to public schools. Those of you who know me understand what that means because I'm a retired teacher of 39 years and public schools are the great equalizer. It's very important that we keep everybody informed and engaged, etc. But more than that for Carrie, yeah, more than that for Carrie is that she served on the fair board and she comes back and talks to me about everything that was going on and said, I'm going to be running so I need some space and time to do that, which was great. But she helped with that. What I need, and one of the things that I like being on this, being on the Board of Supervisors, is that I can come to folks on city councils and say, we need to work together. For example, the American Rescue Plan. So Carrie has been very welcoming to me. Many of you out here have been too. But that, it all works together, because there's more stuff behind the scenes. I was making the comment as all of this got put up. Some of you just walked up and saw it done, but there are people behind the scenes that make that happen. You are the behind the scenes people. And that, yes, and my girlfriend, Anna Patero, who's on the school board for Fairfield Sassoon, came and she's supporting too. Um, yeah, because this is a community effort. It doesn't just stop in Benicia. Think about the crude by rail. Uh, the, uh, I had forgotten about what happened in Oregon. I just did because I, you know, there's so much that's going on, but that is a community and we work together. I didn't have that much in terms of what I could do on the Board of Supervisors other than connecting with all of the supervisors up and down on the, the rail. So that part's important because all of us want to have, I mean, look at this beautiful park. We've got trees, we have blue skies, we have the waterfront. There's so much that's positive going on. Who do you want there? And then, okay, one more thing. I'm sorry. Just I gotta say this. Why the f is Valero always after Carrie? Okay, what is it that they are afraid of? Seriously, I am so tired of this. And why is that happening? So because she's yeah, she's a woman and wise. Let's put it in the correct order. She's a woman and wise, right? Because she will stand up and say, no, this isn't right. Or yes, this is a good thing. And you know you can trust her judgment and she will do it after she's talked with you guys. She just doesn't make these decisions in a vacuum. That's what I love about Carrie. We don't always have to agree and I hope we don't always agree. I want a Jefferson and a Hamilton, right? I want to be able to have that dialogue, but we come together and that's the key. So that's what I need. So I need somebody like Carrie so that when I have an issue at the county, what can I help or the county can do for Benicia, let me know. Thank you very much. It's really an honor to be here today to uh, endorse Carrie for uh, City Council. Um, as many of you know, I've been active in Benicia for many years, attending City Council meetings. I was on the Community Sustainability Commission, and I have participated in some of the most contentious issues that our city has faced. 
Uh, but when I retired seven years ago, I started to go to even more city meetings, as my husband will attest. Uh, because of my interest in housing, I started to attend the Planning Commission meetings. And that's where I really saw Carrie in action as chair of the Planning Commission. And she does a great job. She's always respectful to the participants. She makes sure that every commissioner has an opportunity for input. Uh, she appreciates the work that the staff does. She's always prepared. The commission is well run and it gets things done. In a time when we see so much dysfunction and downright rudeness and disrespect on the federal level, it's really nice to see what a local government can and should be run like. After the 2016 election, I became a member of the steering committee of the Progressive Democrats of Benicia. Uh, we're the largest Democratic club in Solano County. Carrie's also been a member of the steering committee, so I've been able to see her in action at a very personal level. She is so knowledgeable and has so many contacts that she's just brought, brought tremendous value to our work. Uh, she's one of those people who, when she volunteers to do something, it gets done, it gets done well, and you can completely depend upon her. She's a great collaborator, she's easy to get along with, and it's been a pleasure to work with her on this group. She's also been a member of the Solano County Democratic Central Committee. So you start getting into the weeds there. <laughs> Here her knowledge is invaluable. She's someone who I contact if I sort of want, want to find out what's going on behind the scenes. She knows the ins and the outs and she keeps track of things. So she's giving up her time, her intelligence, and her commitment. Also, she's willing to help on a personal level. Carrie's in communications and she's helped me on a couple of occasions to coach me when I'm gonna be talking to someone so I'm sure that I get my points across. And her help is really invaluable. And I wanna know, this is one of the most interesting things about her, how many of you know that she won an Emmy as a new broadcast news producer when she worked for CNN for 11 years. Woo! So that's pretty impressive to me. So I heartily endorse Carrie Birdseye for City Council. I've seen her in action in various roles, and she's a competent, intelligent, hardworking person. Her values are in the right place, and I have no doubt that she will always put the health and safety of Benicia first. She'll bring her concerns about the environment, climate change, housing, and protecting the character of our city to the city council. We are at a critical stage on many fronts, and local government can make such a difference. With the right people on the council, we'll be able to move forward on local issues that have a broader impact. I like to think globally and act locally, and Carrie will do the same thing. I have trust in her to represent us and to provide a voice on city council that I know will have the best interests of both our city and humanity at heart. So please vote, volunteer, and donate to make sure Carrie is elected. Thank you. It feels like messing the Oscar celebration for the best picture. <laughs> because Carrie is the best candidate for city council for our city. I know Carrie is the best choice for council because I worked with her and observed her on the planning commission. Carrie's a great listener and uses that skill to get commissioners to work through thorny issues that come before the planning commission. Carrie is empathetic. She thinks of others and their ideas, hopes, and needs without thought of how it will help or affect her. This is the mark of a true public servant. I speak for many of my artist friends when I say that the main thing that makes artists feel appreciated is when people come to share their events and when the leaders of our community listen to their needs. For artists to keep creating, they need to know that what they invent in the silence of their studios has meaning. Kari has the prettiest blue eyes <laughs> with which she looks straight at you and gives you her full attention. I like that. It gives me a sense of being listened to. 
Harry is one of the few leaders in our community that since her arrival to Benicia in 2000 has supported the arts. I see her at openings and art events, always with an encouraging word. We have two candidates this year that can help put us on the map. Kari Birdseye and Terry Scott. And I support them both. 